Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's all trades accepted time again, and this time it is the Boston Bruins turn to go through this. I, I don't want to call it fleecing anymore because the way we have it set up, we actually turn out pretty good. So yeah, let's find out where this team takes us. Believe it or not, I actually did it properly this time. We won't have to go back and restart the franchise mode. I set it up correctly with the 33 team expansion. I know, I know, I'll be here all day. Thank you. I love how I'm not even recording the face cam, but I still did all the theatrics so you guys can just put that to your imagination do with that what you will auto generate protection list how is it going to turn out the always inaccurate draft lottery results and we can sim to the expansion draft we lose okay no sec that's not the worst in the world let's start the draft and take our first round pick to see if we can get anything decent also Oh, medium elite. Never mind. Thought it was going to be a franchise, but it was not. Wow, the second pick is high top six. That is crazy. Back to medium elite. The Thrashers will obtain Smirnov. This is a first. We got a trade, and I'm losing our first overall pick. Really? Wow. All right, well, I have to accept it. Meh. I'm not too upset about that one. As per usual, I should not have to sign any contracts because of the added contract year feature, which is amazing. Clifton, 83 overall at 1 million. That is a sound deal. Here we go again. Time to update the trading block. I set it up how I normally do, so our surplus is everything. Our whole team is available for the taking. But in terms of our wants... Basically any player that is at least 24. Not interested in draft picks because that means that they're just going to send us a bunch of draft picks for players and our roster is going to go out the window. I want to be competitive because otherwise what's the point? We just get destroyed every time. They rinse our entire roster. Not fun. And on that note, let the games begin. We get one right off the bat here. We're losing Kaiser, Steen, and a fifth for Osterly from Detroit. So we will go ahead and accept that one. Miller for a third, fourth, and Lyle. We'll go ahead and accept that as well. Another one, this time from the New Jersey Devils. We're getting Jimmy VC and Smith in exchange for a fourth and a sixth round pick. A lot of draft picks going out, and that's okay. We're losing Linus Allmark and a third, but we're getting back Kevin Shattenkirk and Carrick. As we must, let's go ahead and accept that one as well. We're getting buttercup in exchange for a sixth round pick i haven't been looking at the years either so i believe it must have been this and next year for the most part a large break in trades here and we actually made it to the next season with not too many our trading block was rudely updated without my permission behind my back but it has been changed to what we want it to be again i put marchi on the block pasta i kind of forgot too that bergeron isn't on the team right now maybe by the time this video comes out he might re-sign but he's not as of when i'm recording he hasn't i should say knowing my luck he's gonna re-sign tomorrow and it's gonna be old news by the time this video comes out but regardless this is our team we got marchi zaka and pasta on the first line smith quail and hall DeBrusque, Frederick, and VC. I think I'm going to move Jack up just because they're the same overall and it gets rid of that dash one. So I count that as a big time dub. Defensively, we're solid. We got Grizzlick and McAvoy with a plus one, Clifton and Riley with a plus one, and then Lindholm, Shattenkirk as a zero. And in net, we have Swayman backed up by Keith. Will we get a lot of trades during the season? Let's find out. And also, the Thrashers finally have a logo. I don't know why they didn't have a logo last time, but they do now. I also don't know why I'm struggling to speak so much again, but I, it's not even surprising at this point. You know, it's sort of expected. We've made a decent dent on the season, and so far, no trades, which I find pretty shocking, to be honest. Our trade block really isn't that picky. You know, I could make it a lot worse when we're looking for very specifics. It's still quite wide open, and we're just not getting any trades. Calgary has canned Bernard. Sorry, mate. Why does this keep happening? We're getting Allmark and Rafferty in exchange for Cal. Except... And what is going on there? Kincaid's being sent down. He's, uh, well, I don't have a choice, so okay. All right, but why is Carlo here when I did best lines? That doesn't seem best liney to me. Everyone scratches a defenseman, so that makes sense. I'm going to bring VC back up so he can be on that fourth line. Why doesn't it like this exactly? Being over the salary cap, I'm sending someone down who's making three million. Hello? Am I losing my mind? These moves will result in your team being over the NHL salary cap. I'm bringing up someone who's making 1.3 and sending down... I, I don't understand. Also, best lines wants this. No! How about no? Allmark is back here. 
backing up Swayman with not much time before the trade deadline. That might have been our final trade. No, it will not. We're losing Lindholm and Frederick and getting back Sturm and Reimer. I don't need goalies, but I can't say no. Rafferty being moved down. You said that last time and guess who didn't move down? All right, our offense looks like this now. We have Sturm on the second line. He's 82 overall, which is pretty solid. Offensively, still looking like that. And in net, we have Reimer. Oh, he's our new starter. I did not know he was 85 overall. So I am not super upset about that trade, but losing Lindholm did kind of suck. 34 wins at the trade deadline? No, of course not. We have 33 wins at the deadline. Let's enter it and see what happens here. Patrice, he got signed by the Ottawa Senators and he is on the block. You know what? I'm going to do it for science. Can we find a trade? Oh, that would have been cool. If I get sent another goalie, not going to be impressed. Can we make a move for Tanev? Nope. What about Bo? Oh, we can. Now I have to take it. Allmark and a first for Bo Horvat. Except, what about Yanni? Can we find one for Yanni? No, we cannot. Patrick Kane? I feel like no, it's not going to happen. Ah, it was worth a try. Dougie? Nope. I'm just going to try it with everyone that's not a defenseman. Palat? Ah, we could try it anyway. Oh my word, we actually get one. And it's Zaka. Okay, there's three. Riley Smith in a seventh. Oh, this is, this is interesting. This is really interesting. I'm going to do this one. Here's the trade summary. So far, Palat is headed to Chicago in exchange for some draft picks there. And Yetman, Toronto reacquired Travis Dermott. As part of that trade, Nicholas Robertson went to the Vancouver Canucks and there was a fourth round pick involved from both sides. All right, as fun as this trade deadline has been... I'm out. We finally do not have a defenseman playing forward, so that's nice. What a pleasant surprise. Horvat on the first line makes it a plus three. We got Smith, Sturm, and Hall, and then Zaka, Jack playing with DeBrusque, Jack and Jake. Defensively, we got Matt playing with Charlie, and then we have Alexander playing with Derek Shattenkirk with Clifton on the final pair there. In Nets, we have Reimer and Swayman. Let's do this thing. I think we're going to make the playoffs. It's already quite promising, and we got better, in my opinion. So I think it's going to happen. We lost the first two games after the trade deadline, and I got really scared there for a second, but we bounced back. However, nope, never mind. We went on another two-game losing streak and bounced back again. Whoa, we just moved from, like, second to fifth. Our division is so close. That is crazy. After all that we finished second in the division but look at this look at this there is a one point separation from second to fifth tampa bay won the president's trophy with 56 w's on the year where did boston finish in the entire league we got to be kind of close oh wow 12th the 20th placed st louis blues sneak in with 86 points and the 18th place golden knight sneak in with 88 we had two point a game players here marchi had 87 and pasta with 86 and he also had 40 tucks on the year mcavoy put up 78 he might lead defenseman for real Horvat only had 58 but how much did he have coming into the Bruins is my question so he ended up getting 13 in 19 games which is all right Reimer did not do so well he had a 29 32 and 6 record with three shutouts and a 907 Swayman went 27 22 and 5 with five shutouts and a 908 we did get Reimer kind of late and how did he do for how did that happen he finished with oh 17 games played for us he went 10 5 and 2 so never mind. Flower led the league with 43 Ws. He had a 909 save percentage, seven shutouts on the year for Igor and a 925 save percentage. We got a 923 from Vazzy and six shutouts. So he did very good as well. He did it and it wasn't even close. McAvoy led defenseman with 78 points. The next closest is 12 behind Adam Fox with 66. Then we got Morris with 63. Hughes also at 63 and McCarr and Morgan Riley. Both get 62. JT Miller with the Art Ross. Okay, I'm a, I'm fine with that. That's pretty decent. He got 45 goals and 57 assists for a total of 102. The only player to break 100. Ovi put up 58 goals, which looks like it's good enough for the Rocket Richard. 98 points total. Marchi is on the front page here at 87. Crosby putting up 87 again. Truly poetic. And of course, Pat Rice is going to be up here with 88. It's playoff time. We got the Ottawa Senators here. Shutouts in the first two games, and then we get rinsed. Well, it was a good run. It wasn't, but can try to convince ourselves it was. Stanley Cup is headed to Vegas. The Golden Knights take it home. Let's go see who performed well in the playoffs and check out the awards plus the playoff tree. Marchie, pointy game in the playoffs. 
What a mad lad. Player stats. Obviously, I want to sort by the entire league. Don't really care about Actually, I do care about us. Was anyone else point a game? Horvat had five. He was pretty close. Stammy had 22 points in 17 games. Panarin had 22, but it was in 22 games. Stone had 21 in 19. Cooch with 19 in 17. Chandler put up 18 in 19 games. Fox, the most point getting defenseman, the highest point scoring defenseman. I don't know how to word that, but you know what I mean. Also, a 25.6 shooting percentage. Um, hello? You didn't do too bad either, Vinny. 23.3. The team awards are here for you to see, but we pretty much knew all of them anyway, and we know this one. The heart goes to Ovechkin. Norris goes to Charlie. Fire me up. Matthews gets the Lady Bing. Boldy with the Calder. Leonard gets the Conn Smythe. Igor gets the Vesna and probably the Jennings. Yep. Vlasic gets the Masterton. DuPont with the Jack Adams. O'Reilly gets the Selkie. Ted Lindsay to Ovi. And, but of course, the Rocket Richard goes to Over Chicken. A sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals. Top 10 things you hate to see. That always comes in at number one. We do have another sweep between Carolina and New Jersey in round one. But other than that, I think that those are the... Oh, no! We also have one between Tampa and Ottawa. Although there wasn't a crazy amount of sweeps from the conference semifinals and on, there was only one game seven, so that's not fun either. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Keep the team recommendations coming in. Keep the video ideas coming in. And I'll be sure to try and get around to them eventually. Obviously, there is a queue but I will try my best. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.